Hello everybody and welcome back to the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC where today we're gonna do the Isle quest that I was requested to have which was there can only be one and then I do want to do paper chase and then I think I'm going to hop on the main quest but first of all Okay, so I'm at my house, which I finished upgrading and which I'm super excited about. Make sure, okay, good. Audio's working. Excellent. Is that the vineyard or? Oh, wait, let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's see Roach's stable. Nice, Roach. I hope you like it. And I have a couple, I mean, I might as well use the grinding stone things, I guess. Oh, it's nice, like a little art, like right outside where the horse is at, there's a... Come on. Nice. And... Kind of going for a look at the... I know it's dark out. Woohoo, that was close. Oh my gosh, this does look really not much nice. Really nicer? Much nicer. Oh! You find the herbs you need to create mutagens or change their colors. Winter cherry. Beautiful. I like it. Oh, and here's the actual vineyard. Here you'll find the plants you need to create dyes. Oh ho ho! I like it. I like it. It's also a good thing that I actually just kind of like the color of his gear the way it is, but it was worth it. All right. Oh yeah, okay, so here it is. And they said it was what? Someone said it was northwest of the palace? Okay, good. So this is hopefully, this is the one that has been highly requested. Let's, um, not go there. We'll go here. Yeah, groups of outlaws sometimes keep hostage at their camp only in this DLC, not anywhere else. Not in any of the other areas. Well, I don't know. That might be a bit unfair. Hi, how's it going? I think I'm basically going to have to swim across this location this water this water source it's fine i know how to speak english english is my first language and basically my only one unfortunately i do try i try i'm trying to learn german so magical already i bet you nothing bad will happen not on a little aisle in the middle of a pristine lake. These rocks are suspicious. Ooh, there's a little water spring. Oh, hi. Can I talk to you? I'm walking on water. Oh! Just like. <laughs> like who? Like a pond skater. Yeah. What are you thinking? No matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you, eh? Wrong. Okay. <laughs> like a pawn scare. Who are you talking about? <laughs> hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore. And I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword. Most I knew it! Lies the Lady of the Lake! I watch over it. But you're not the Lady the of the Lake. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. 
Butchers. Folk call me a lot of things. Yeah. Virtuous? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yet I do know. For I know who you are. I am beautiful? You have proven yourself capable of great sympathy. You are a man of honor. As many can attest. Of humble means yourself. You show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. Reason guides your actions, as it does those of all who are wise. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. Wow. Being the sword's mine, I can dive in and take it. The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Of course I do. Are you ready? Uh, sure thing. Anytime. Then draw your blade. I've heard that this sword is better than anything I'll ever get, ever. And it's not even worth keeping a full set of Witcher gear. Whoa! I bet it is! Where'd you go? Hang on, I can lock onto him, right? This is cool! Look at the water wall! Oh, I can't lock onto it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How do you prepare for this? Hang on, hang on. I, the only thing I can think of is if he's human? I don't know if he's human. I am using the steel weapon, so... Owie, 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 owie. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I'm trying to move. I can't. Ow. Whoa, guy. Oh, hey, what? Proven what? Of wielding the blade. Beyond I didn't even do anything! This was gonna be an epic battle and it just faded to white! Like he had a bunch of cool abilities that were gonna wreck my day. Carol's just like, uh... Behold. I Lord knew it! Arundite. I knew it! The lady of the lake, there's a woman! We've met before. We have, I think Certainly. so. The hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The lady of the lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you received the blade. Now bear it. Um, and I trust this time you shall not lose it. I think that's in the book. It might be in a it might be one of the games, but it is. He does have a history with the Lady of the Lake. Just wonderful. <laughs> okay, so that was that was it. Okay, don't let me. I just got an achievement too. It's okay. It's fine. I won't be able to stand. Character. Okay, Lady of the Lake. Okay, this is something new. We don't. We haven't seen. Uh, glossary. Um, oh, but we've got Slizzard, Matriarchs, Slither. I thought I read those, maybe not. Have I gotten all of the things? Hymns? Have I read about hymns? Oh yeah, that was forever ago. But you don't, okay, usually when it says shadow, a silhouette like this, that means we haven't seen it. But I think this is its actual form. Wraith from the painting, Umbra. An Umbra is a merely an unclean conscience, one tormented by guilt and unforgiven wrongs. A man wallows in sin with loose women and can't sleep at night, then invents Hokey about some Umbra or Phantom and blabbers about it to the tavern. Um, according to some philosophers, everything we do in life leaves a permanent trace in the delicate matter which makes upon our souls. Evil deeds, especially harm done to innocent creatures, can torment the soul of a sinner and cause it to remain restless even after death. While traveling through Toussaint, Geralt discovered there might be a grain of truth in these theories and folk beliefs. He came across a hermit whose sleep was troubled by some invisible phantom. 
So she was being troubled by the Phantom, even though she wasn't the one who had done any wrong. That's, that that kind of sucks. Geralt determined this Phantom was an Umbra. It was a Geralt, it was Roach! The ghost of a recently deceased knight who had committed a terrible deed while alive and now visited the Hermit to demand forgiveness. In his wraithly form, he drank her blood and systematically deprived her of life energy. The Umbra appeared to the Hermit as a horse, for the evil deed that the knight had committed was to flog his own mount to death. The knight's spirit was unaware of the demonic role he had assumed in the afterlife. Geralt managed to figure out the key to freeing the knight's ghost was to forgive him in the name of the Hermit. It was un that was dumb. I didn't like that. Okay, um, characters. Boot Black. Oh, yeah. Whose name Gerald never learned. It was a charming scamp. <laughs> uh, Boot Black. Yep, yep, yep. Lady of the Lake. Gerald first encountered the Lady of the Lake when his search for what had been stolen from Kaer Morhen took him to the village known as Murky Waters. There, a mysterious female being dwelled in the murky depths of the village's namesake waters and watched over the residents living on the shores. Such was their esteem for their underwater guardian, they erected a monument in her honor. The Lady of the Lake once had many knights in her service, but they had all died, as valiant knights tend to, during campaigns in far-off lands. She now lived in near solitude, so was glad to accept Gerald's company, the Witcher being someone she liked and respected. Once the Witcher had believed that the Lady of the Lake was someone was some kind of local goddess, but the reunion at Lake Celevi made him realize she did not dwell only in murky waters. Instead, the Lady of the Lake calls home any place where virtue and chivalry are honored. Interesting. Oriana. During the soiree organized by the Mandra Mandragora, Geralt met Oriana, a valued patroness to many local artists. There was something about this woman that made most who met her feel somehow ill at ease. She could not break the Witcher's iron hard self composure, of course, but she did not give him the impression she was no normal aristocrat. And his impressions were usually spot on. I really love her outfit. She looks really cool. Roach! Yay, we have a Roach one. I don't know if we've always had it. Um. She is a girl! I knew it! He was very attached to her. Yeah. Nor even when one, sometimes in incomprehensible fashion, wind up dancing on some peasant's roof. Well, girl, let's say with a shrug, a witch's horse is an normal animal. Constant contact with mag magic beverages and signs must have left a mark. I love that they're like a tr I've never had roach land on a, on, a, on a roof before, as far as I'm aware, but these are pretty hilarious. Uh, has talked over the nuts and bolts of his current contract with his horse while staring at the stars shining above the lonely road, though few would ever admit to this. Few, capital, capital F. Named as every Mount Roach, though no one really knew why or what Geralt had in mind with his name. Um, yeah, I did know that from the books. And in the books, she was a girl. But I swear there were a couple times where Roach has been referred to as a boy. While completing a contract in Tucson, Geralt had the chance to find out exactly how serious Roach took her role was, and how well-versed in the arcana of the, of the Witcher's trade she was. He also discovered she was an entirely pleasant conversation partner. Sylvia Anna. Sil Siana? A lovely name, that you think? This beauty should come as no surprise, given it's the name of the daughter of the Duke and the sister of a Duchess. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the one who's went insane. Yet the fate of Siana, as her intimates called her, Met was not as beautiful as one as might have been expected for one so well born, though as it turns out, she had in truth been born rather inopportunely. She came into this world during an eclipse and thus fell victim to the panic surrounding the curse of the Black Sun, which was said to affect young girls from ruling families birthed in similar circumstances. Though Geralt had serious doubts whether this true curse truly existed, many claimed it caused horrible mutations which filled its victim with cruelty and desire to kill. Sianna's parents certainly seemed to be among the believers in the curse, for they deemed her too dangerous to be allowed to remain at court and forced her into exile. Sianna then fled to Nazir, and soon after, for all intents and purposes, dropped off the face of the planet. Yeah, well, if you keep saying something about somebody, and you treat them like they're a monster, they're gonna turn into one. Like, there's, there's no other recoil. Like, they, they don't know anything else, you know? So the hermit who lived in the Isle of Lac Celebe had become the guardian of the Duchy's five principal virtues. This virtuous man watched over the boulders on which the virtues had been engraved. I, I saw those boulders, yeah. Uh, um, and put any knights who came by through a trial to prove they embodied them. When the witcher arrived at the Isle and met with the hermit, it seemed to him it was not their first encounter. Only later did he find out how right he was. The hermit turned out to be the Lady of the Lake, a mysterious being whom Geralt had once met in murky waters. Yep, yep, yep. The Sword Arondite. Inventory. 
Apparently this sword is well worth, um, it's a silver one too. Each blow generates charges, which increase sword damage by 10%. Charges are lost over time or when receiving damage. A fully charged sword always deals critical hit damage. Killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expend its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage is increased by, uh, 0 to a maximum of 10, increasing along with your character level. What in tarnation? That is what? Uh, yeah. Um, see, I like the number six on this Witcher gear. The critical hit chance and critical hit damage also apply to bombs. Blah, that's not what I want. But it's fine. Apparently, this sword is well worth not having a completed Witcher set, is what I was told. Um, now though, I'm tempted. There's my dog. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Shh, it's fine. Um, I really like this, the way the set looks, though. You know? But it would be interesting, maybe, to build another set. I don't really have the money for it, but... Uh, where is... Crafting, maybe? Let's see... I need the... Is, is it Grand? It is Grandmaster. What is... Oh, yeah, the stomach. Ugh. I always did like the Grandmaster or the Ursine armor. I thought it looked freaking great. But this is the Manticore. I don't even have all of it. I know I don't. I've got the, um... Quest. Do I have black? Nope. Treasure hunts. Grandmaster Feline, which I didn't. It was like it made me. Grandmaster. I didn't like the Grandmaster Griffin really. I didn't like the way it was like a big old like knife chest. I didn't like it so much. Uh, the Grandmaster Feline. Uh, is. I don't think it had perks that I wanted. Uh, but I did like the way the Ursine gear looked. I'd probably go with the woven stuff, though, to be honest. Which I don't think I start. I don't think I started doing. The, did I start doing? I think I. I think I tried starting the woven stuff, but I ha I couldn't get the the stomach, the creature stomach, the monster stomach for some reason. Like, I, I have two, but they just won't, they just don't show up in my, that I have them. So, I don't know. Crafting. Like, I swear I do, but... I don't know. I was I remember I remember reading that, that some people also encountered some trouble with this one. With the stomach anyway. Like um some people in like forums and stuff. But it's okay. I can't remember what the perks was for the I think I liked the perk for the wolf gear. But I think it was a six piece set that I liked as well. So Interesting. Interessant. Interessant. So that was easy. Uh, that was a lot of reading we just did. This is a pretty little area, though. I knew I had to do something with the Lady of the Lake. Because I have vague recollections of Geralt being involved with the Lady of the Lake. And not involved involved, but having, like, you know, chatted with her at some point. And, um, or, you know, something. Something had happened in some story somewhere. Oh, here they are. The five chivalric virtues. Valor does not make one good, yet how many good men have you met in your life's journey who are cowards? Those who possess valor do not hesitate to stand against the majority, no matter what the consequences. I mean, some people say, and sometimes I say this too, that like, um, courage is just a synonym for stupidity. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's whatever. The other alternative is being a cynic, which is not a good alternative, so... Uh, no man can be called good who does not share his prosperity with others. Generosity is required for dignity in life and peace and death. Yep, yes indeed. 
There are many traits which bear witness to a man's true nature. Compassion is what separates men from beasts. Whoever feels sympathy for his fellow man will never turn a blind eye to misfortune. He will instead always stand in defense of the wronged. That's kind of an odd way to put it. Compassion is what separates men from beasts. And then you look at elephants, you know, who are like extremely intelligent, compassionate creatures. Who like, they feel compa- Dogs feel compassion for, for humans, you know? Like, and... I mean, maybe you could argue against that, but, like, that it's just, like, some innate, instinctual, like, I'm going to comfort you thing. So maybe it's not necessarily compassion, but I guarantee you elephants feel compassion. Like, they're extremely intelligent. Monkeys, ch- apes, chimpanzees, stuff like that, like, they feel compassion. I would I would argue that. Because it's super blah, blah. Honor cannot be purchased. Honor also cannot be sold. For its val- value is greater than all the treasure in the world. Yet one can lose it. And whoever does so shall have his sullied his name for all eternity. A truly honorable man always stands behind his actions, faces every challenge, and refuses to lie. Where are the lady knights in this story? There's gotta be lady knights. If you guys ever, if you've never, if you have never read Tamora Pierce's series, she's got a bunch that are set in like Tortle. Um, and she's got another series, too, that's set in a different, like, area. But if you've never read, like, Alana, her Alana series, about, like, being a, like, 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 it's, like, about a girl who wants to be a knight, but she's not allowed to, you know? So her and her twin brother switch places, and she's, like, basically, like, the four books deal with her, like, disguising herself as a man and, like, becoming a knight, and they're really, really good stories. Where's my Alana in, in this game? Where is it? This is what I'm talking about. It's just little things that the Witcher series, that the Witcher, at least this one, and I know the Witcher series as a whole, just kind of doesn't do quite right by the women characters, and I would like to see better in Cyberpunk. I would really like to see better. Wisdom is a virtue which one should try to strive to cultivate throughout one's life, for it is impossible to be so wise one cannot become wiser. The wise know this. As we journey through life, we should seek to make wise choices. Remember, wise choices are not those which make our lives easier or simpler. Often they make them more complicated, but they always make us better. Wise, wise, wise. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going to do paper chase now. Uh, which seems like it's actually going to be... Oh, I'm so tempted. Anyway, let me find, actually, a fast travel location. ch Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> that was super fast. I apologize if that was supposed to be some epic battle and I somehow messed it up. Like, I hit the guy once... Or the lady, whoever. And I hit them once, and and they did something cool. And the tornado took, like, half my health. And I was expecting to have to be doing this for a long time. Like, I was like, okay, this is, this is gonna take a while. I'm probably gonna die a couple times. But I'm gonna figure out the move set, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna do it better. And then I hit them twice a second time. And it was like, okay, you're done, yay! And I was like, ah, this is my favorite part, done! I was like, what? I... Me. Me. What? <laughs> what? I was actually looking forward to that. Oh, there's a town. There's a little notice board I haven't seen yet. Okay. Paper chase. Give me money. I wonder if I can exchange my money here. Because I know I have, like, florins or whatever that I can exchange. But that might only actually be... Because Toussaint uses a different monetary system, I would assume. And I don't have to get all my stuff exchanged because of the, there's like Orins and Florins or something. I can't remember what the different or what the different monies monies are. Oh. No two ways ah. about it. No, you're right. Bank! Big bank. Hello. No safer place than a bank. Oh, hi, it's a dwarf. Welcome to Chanfinelli Bank. I mean, like, I, that, I hadn't actually noticed, and I feel kind of bad about it, but the, I know the Faroe Islands, we were specifically noticing that there were no elves there. But when I came here, I didn't really notice that there weren't any yes. elves or dwarves or anything you? like that. So, uh, do I have to go, talk to a specific one? You? 
Welcome to Gentleman Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. That's a bad mentality. That's a very bad mentality. Creates a very big sense of entitlement in the customer. I'd like to change some coins. Yes! By all means. Oh my gosh, I'm loaded. Crowns, that was, that was one. Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. It's been a while, apparently. You look suspicious, hooded man. That awkward bank standing around. You know how it goes. Kitty! I'm, I'm mega suspicious. This game has made me suspicious of everything. No safer place in a bank. I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. I'm alive, actually. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit 838. For what? more information, please go to window number one. What? Yeah, it's not like there's a huge line here, right. lady. Where's window number one? This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Over here? What is this? Time to tough coin sight to make masters or thieves ready to pounce on every moment, on even a moment of intention. Luckily, Sian Feli has a solution for you. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Magic and telepathy. Good, good. Oh, uh, can I, can I? Um. I knew it. It's called Paper Chase, and I'm just gonna have to wander around a bank. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay, this is fine. Whoa. Hi. Welcome to Chan Family Bank, where we look after your coins, etc., etc. 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 I like her. Etc. Etc. I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. Ah. Uh... Happen to know where I can do it then? Hmm. Let me think. Perhaps upstairs, in records. Or downstairs in the archive. You must ask them, sir. Do just that. Okie dokie. Is this worth it? Is this is this worth it? I better get a lot of money from this. Uh, I think upstairs and records would be my better shot. But it could totally be that um, this is literally just gonna be me <laughs> running around. I'm kind of glad I don't have to <laughs> run around like. This is like too real though, it's too real, you know what I mean? But I'm kinda glad, hopefully I don't have to run around like... <laughs> I don't have to run around like outside, Sorry, I can... gotta get through. What? what is this? Oh. Back off the queue, sir. I can wait. You cut the line, sir! I mean, I can wait. But you're not going in. And there goes my controller, so... All right, I waited for five seconds. Bye bye. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer is always right. How might I help you? <laughs> this one from A38. Naturally, just hand me your. No. <laughs> Form two o two. Just what are you trying to pull? Sir, I'm not pulling anything. Just following procedure. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. <laughs> and be back shortly with Form 202. 202. Jumping the queue. How dare you? I know. Oh, are you gonna be mad at me? All right, let's let's uh, let's see how this goes. You cut in front of me, sir. Do you see these giant swords I have on my back? Do you, so, so do you have a death wish? Like, what are you gonna do about it, my man? Talk to me to death? What are you gonna do about it? Mm, well, couldn't really give a crap. You bore, you child. Yeah. Uh huh. 
I what will she... not stand uh -huh. for this. Yeah. Just you wait. I'll oh teach my you gosh. some manners. Go no. on, hit me. Do it. <laughs> He's cat. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. I don't want to. You have a neat hat. Outside. I like it. No. Are you freaking serious? I don't have time for this. Are you seriously gonna? You're seriously gonna? I have spikes on my gloves, my man. I have swords on my back. I have armor. I have scars. These people have no sense of self-preservation. Although last time I got the crap beat out of me by some humans, so... And I'm not gonna be able to punch him. Teach you the meaning of decency. Uh-huh. Hang on, can I? Yeah, okay. This is a lot easier now. Poor simpleton. Prepare to be humbled. You're really good at talking while I'm kicking the crap out of you. I can beat up a pansy man! I'm really happy about that. Bush was it? Resorts to fisticuffs. Resorts to fisticuffs. It wasn't my fault. You need to go downstairs. Where the hell she go? Air bomb made. Oh my gosh. The scent could be the lead I need. What does it say? Come on. Okay. It just says, I wanted to know if it said anything specific. Air bomb made. Need to follow the oh. scent. Could be the lead I need. Are, am I seriously what gonna can just? I, do for you? I mean, she's in here. No safer place than a bank. So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta take care of at window you one. You cannot be serious. I too find it hard to believe. For Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? We'll all not break. Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something. We'll all break. Ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. <laughs> Sit and Got wait. No choice, I guess. Need to wait till they're done with their break. This is so awkward. I'm, I, my social anxiety is going out the roof right now. Ah, uh, this is why cell phones were created. So you didn't have to you just sit wait. awkwardly. They have the break now. Uh huh. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. Geralt's just like. So, uh -huh. what do you hope to get here? Permit uh, A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. But, as we are both forced to wait... No! Fancy a round of wind. <sighs> so you know this place pretty well. Must have taken care of a good amount of business. Oh, naturally, my friend. Naturally. Indeed, I've managed to work the system a time or two. You see, such things require finesse. Subtlety. Otherwise, you're stuck. I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do? Be kind. Be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. Yeah, I feel that in very deeply in my soul. I, I don't blame up her. Some flowers, some perfume. You will resolve your matter lickety split. Yeah, let's do that. That's nice. That's a nice way right. to do it. Certainly worth a shot. Good luck. 
do I just have flowers and perfume in my back pocket? Like... Do I have it? Do I have... Hold on a second. If, uh... Hi. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc, etc. Etc, etc. Uh... Need Form 202 to get a copy of Permit 838. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me? What? Wasted a lot of time because of you. Geralt, that's not... Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. Let me find it. Get on, Gimel. Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue Form 202. Excuse me? The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? Flowers! Got you some flowers. Just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. To me? Really? Match the color of your eyes. Oh, you saw They're white. Oh, quite the charmer. Ah. Please, oh my gosh, did he just wink? I shall oh fetch Oh my Jacob gosh. Mary. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. Well, why did I have to be rude when I first walked up? That was I didn't like that. Wow, that I like that guy's outfit actually. I like the purple and gold and the, like whitish color. Uh, you tell him then he disturbed, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Blow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Been a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins. I know this guy. <laughs> hey, problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. Just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. I hope so, my man. Oh, okay. Looking on you later. We're here to serve, and if you've a matter for a high hedion, make a beeline to yours truly. Catch twenty-two. Oh. Master Geralt, how can I be of service? I thought maybe it was going to be rude, and but why do I have to keep being rude? Chen Finelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin now. Come you on, spent Master it! Witcher, for why the IR? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Her, her enlightened highness. She's hired Oh, to... okay. Mm -hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access Ooh, to my account. Ooh, nice, Geralt. Right now. Nice. Uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. So how's the trade these days, Master Witcher? Oh, Can't you know. Complain. Good for you. Because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. What? Folk out with the duchy have me any notion how to say quote de blessure and all that. It twists their tongues in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. Really? That's that's what you think Done. the problem is? Was it box two five six? Last you on the right. Okay, my guy. I feel like something terrible is about to happen.
What the hell's this, Chen Finelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we, uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was he haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't dare! Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper! I swear it on my nana's beard! Got a week, not one day more. You shan't regret this, I swear. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for you in seven days. Man! See you then. Nah, I gotta wait seven days in game? Yeah, with him telling me that the wine stocks are bad. Rustle me up my coin. It better be a lot. Better be like 10,000. Just stick on you. Get it off. Uh, I don't know if I have enough quests to, to fill the t I mean, I do, technically, but... Seven in-game days is a long time. Uh, I am interested. That was that was pretty funny though. That was that was kind of what I was expecting it to be, at least for now. I thought it would be kind of funny if they made you keep just go all over the bank, just all over the whole thing, trying to figure stuff out. Uh, I really only have one, two, three, four, five to do if I wanted to, but I guess for now, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. But for now, I will leave you all here. Um, I guess I should probably test out my sword a couple times before I actually do something big, so I'll probably do a couple more. But uh, thank you guys for joining me on this, I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.